Hey everybody, I'm APH and welcome back to Timber Barn. Now in the last episode, we made a valiant effort to get to the golems. Now what we ended on was planning out our location and between episodes, I went ahead and let that finish out and added up a little bit of bling to the front of our building there. So it is ready to go. We're ready to unpause those and we're ready to get the first golems going. Along with that, I ramped up our gear production in order to make sure that we have all the gears that we need and in the back of our town, I added in a little bit of, well, I added in two things. I added in first a woodwork shop in order to get the treated planks, the observatory first on this little mound right here. And then up on the top of the hill, we added this one right here. Now with this, I was starting to notice that we we're starting to have issues with the gravity batteries. You can see they're not all the way to the top. So I've added in a few more windmills because as of today, this is the last episode of this part of the series. So after today, we'll be transitioning over to the iron teeth so without further ado let's unpause some things in order to get going here all right so while waiting for our first golems to come off the assembly line i have a few people to introduce to the colony first off would be hannah hannah very, thank you very much for your kind words and i believe that you'd like to be added up here there was a second name in the comment let me know if that's the name that you wanted added i was a little bit unclear typically i like to add the names that the, of the person but i will add custom names if uh if specifically requested and then over here we have angie and angie welcome to the colony now for the rest of the people i will be adding them as mechs as they come off the the assembly line so they will be kind of as we go through and then as soon as the first golem comes off the line we're going to show you some cool features that you can do with them all right so bot one and bot two just rolled off the assembly line and it looks like they're over here let's uh lower it down a little bit and see if we can get a good look at them as i'm thinking we'll put it on like really slow speed so they can kind of walk around look at that that is super cute oh that is insane so for our first of our bots we are going to go ahead and name them canadian rocket man welcome to the colony so rocket man and then bot two this is going to go to a uh, blood raven xr welcome to the colony and thank you for the the nice comments there is so many good comments in the last couple of days the only names that i'm going to be adding after today are ones that specifically asked to be named or a limit because we might hit a point where we we have just so many people that i'd be spending a good chunk of the uh episode working on names and now that we've got those now we can start doing some cool things we can unlock a building to use golems and the nice thing about this if i unlock this i switch this over to those two golems i can now unlock the other well the other building is unlocked i can now turn that over to golem so we are going to do something uber pog and we're going to have our golem assemblers ran by golems so let me give it a minute for the next two golems to come off the assembly line and then we're going to add those next two people in and then we're going to start building as we're kind of in a lack of people for the moment all right barrel bot number three goes to the laughing dove so tld welcome back and thank you for sticking with me through my near nine month hiatus so welcome sir and for you i have a special spot for you we are going to place you up here in the, the iron smelter so we're going to go ahead and unlock that and away you go for bot Four, this goes to nobody special. Welcome to the channel. And thanks for not only, you know, joining the channel, but joining the Discord. So nobody special, welcome to the colony. Bot five, hiding under the rooftop there, goes to Pi. Hi, welcome to the channel. And you have an interesting name that's making me have to think about how to put that in there. I question if that has a meaning. If so, let me know down in the comments. And I think with this, we're ready to start getting into the terraforming. Let's go ahead and unlock the dirt excavator and we're going to go ahead and put it over here on the water. So we should be able to go right here and I think this is powered. So we're going to have to do a little bit of some work here. So let's do let's remove this and we're going to need. Oh, this might be a little bit off kilter when I put storage underneath here. I had to do a little bit of reworking. Let's go one further out in place a platform so we'll go something like that and then we're going to from there we're going to place the terraforming not the terraforming station the dirt extractor then we'll bring the power on the edge over here so we're gonna have to place a high power shaft right 
here and then we're going to need to connect it in the corner here so we'll get a connector there we're gonna have to wait for this one to build so we'll do something like that we're gonna place the temporary staircase down and then we're gonna have to place the the shaft right here and what i'll do is as these two finish i'll add in the other two just to make sure that no beaver gets uh, kind of stuck and kind of left behind that takes a ton of years that's part of why we amped up the gear production the treated planks and metal blocks of which we have all of and then up here on the mountaintop i think it's a good place to build the dirt storage and the terraforming station itself so let's get a dirt pile right here and then for the terraforming station let's go ahead and place it right across the street now these require golems which are coming off the production line so hopefully we're not too far away and then with that we need to unlock the dirt blocks and with these we will be able to go around and do something like this and add the dirt blocks in as they're extracting the dirt and what i want first is this area over here so i just want to bring this right up to where this is going to be all right bot six and seven welcome to the colony first we're adding in uh tag james so tag james welcome to the colony and for number seven we are adding in piano fish so piano fish you are the last on the list today welcome to the colony everybody thank you very much for not only your kind words and your kind comments but for making the the colony even more shiny so with that no colony is complete without some amenities and the first amenity that we want to build is over here so we're going to go ahead and get a rid of this row of trees in order to build out on the water and we are going to be placing something special now as we come across here we're going to need a platform so i want something in the neighborhood of this size right here here for the future all i'm gonna do right now is just lay out the kind of prep work for what i'm building and then i'm gonna surprise you with what goes here this is going to look something about like this in the future all right the dirt extractor is up and going and look at that it immediately starts tearing up the dirt underneath it that is extremely cool looking so if that drills down to the ground level eventually we're probably gonna have to move that but that is a nifty building and as it builds it looks like you can see that it's kind of extending down the frame that's extremely cool and extremely interesting let's get it uh rotated around so we don't clip through the objects i'm wondering if the blade is going to go down with it as it kind of eats up that dirt but with that we should be filling up the dirt up here and look at that we already have 4850 dirt so it doesn't take long in order to get enough of that dirt going excellent this area has come together and we added in a carousel just so we could get a little bit better well-being and this is kind of what the finished product looked like with that we're going to move on to the next well-being and in here we're going to sit signify our progress with a labor monument and what we're going to do is facing the water we're going to go ahead and place two of them so that as you're entering the city you get that signification of we've come this far and i have to say that so far at this town is becoming extremely compact it looks like we're just about done with the terraforming station if i had to guess probably one or two more days in game and then we're going to start placing those blocks down and i do want this one right here to be a high priority because i have some special plans for up here now you can see that between episodes i did plant up all the trees in here just to make this area look nice and bright but there is some things that i'd like up there with it and i would also like to unlock the metal platform now i'm not sure if i'm going to use this or not because it takes 200 metal blocks and i'm not sure if i have 200 metal blocks so i'm not sure if that's yeah i only have 100 so i'm not sure if that's the route i'm going to take or not but i want to unlock that because i have some ideas i just not sure how to get there all right so we just finished the terraforming station and immediately they came down here and put in this last block now what we want to do in here is go after our next monument so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that to kind of square up that area and then we're going to get rid of these trees right here unfortunately and we're going to go ahead and prioritize those up and then on each side of this we're going to place the flame of progress we're going to go ahead and unlock that that way everybody as they're coming to the the temple there will have access to the flame so as they just remove those let's go ahead and add those in and we're just going to do that like that so with the flames of progress lit 
we have reached 31 well-being. So let's go ahead and find a beaver. Let's go over the well-being. And it looks like we're at 100% working speed, 40% movement speed, and 60% to life expectancy. Now, I think that we have set out to do everything that we can in this playthrough. So in closing, as we move over to the Iron Teeth, I want to say that we, we bent the will of the river. We cultivated the land. We climbed the mountain. We have reached for spirituality, built culture, entertainment, and in the end, we look to the stars for what is next. And we will see you in the next episode.